in that movie? Can I be in it? Yeah, awesome. Now, Peter Burke, can you do one more thing for me? Please, please, take an interest in science. Our angel can only stay on the ground 10 minutes. They miss that window, they are dead. Right. So you keep coming to me and see us all? Is that the game today? I'll play. Everything I've seen made me everything I am. Pray. Fast forward, freeze frame on my pistol. Pray. You're chaos. I think I might be worse. I am a killer who looks like a hero. Pray. 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 So, Mile 22 is directed by Peter Berg, and once again, it stars Mark Wahlberg, including Wanda Rousey, Laura Cahan, John Malkovich and Ico U.S. and this movie is not based on a true story like the other three films that he's done. This movie is about the CIA operative team led by Mark Wahlberg that had to get a police officer out of this country because he's holding some secrets that nobody wants to know and a terrorist of course is trying to stop him and they have to go through with them. Now I'm really interested in this movie because I liked Peter Berg as a director, especially the three true story movies that he's done with Mark Wahlberg. Before that, he did make some bad films, including Battleship and Hancock. Yeah, let's forget about them. But then it goes all the way to Lone Survivor, which is a really good, underrated film. And then it goes to Deep Water Horizon and Patriot's Day. And those three films are the ones that I think make Peter Berg one of the better true story directors out there this day. And now this movie is going back to non-fictional, so it could go in different ways, because remember those two films I was talking about before those three true story films come? Yeah, I'm very skeptical of this movie, but also excited at the same time, because you know what? It's Mark Wahlbeck and Peter Berg's fourth collaboration. Like, what could possibly go wrong, right? Like, right? Yeah. Sometimes films turns out not what you expected. That's exactly what Mile 22 is because this movie's a pile of shit. Now this movie does have positives, but just so far overall with this movie, this movie disappointed me. It's probably one of the most disappointing movies of this whole entire year. I was interested in the story and I liked Peter Berg as a director and Mark Wahlberg, great actor. And this is their full collaboration, like, this is tearing them down. A lot. But let's talk about the positive with this movie. First, Mark Wahlberg, man. Like, I'm going to talk about his character in the dislikes because his character was a bit wasted. But him, he's just likable. I like Mark Wahlberg in this movie. I like this actor. He's very likable. Even though he made some bad movies like The Happening and Planet of the Apes, he's still the best part of those movies. And this movie, he is the best part of this movie. Also, the look of the movie. The look of the movie looks great. Like, Peter Berg knows how to make movies look really good and real realistic. And, yeah, most of the scenery that he's done were really clever. But, guys, that is always a positive. Yeah, two positives with this film. Like, two. I can't think of anything else because this movie is so not good. First, the action scene. This is the 100% Thing that I dislike this movie. The action scenes. Holy shit, they are terrible. There are just typical bad movie shaky cams that we've seen in other movies before. And this is disappointing because I go US, the actor from the Ray movies, is doing stunts for this movie. And I was excited for that because I like this actor. I love the Ray movies. But what disappointed me the most, we can't see him do a stunt. We can't see him do an action scene. You know why? Because it's too shaky to notice. Even the, like the other action scene, like the shootouts. I would have been so excited. I would have been intense. I would have been on the edge of my seat. But no, I was basically putting my arm on my seat doing this. With the shaky cam action scenes. Also feeling sick the entire time because of how terrible the action scenes is. It shows shaky cam. And not just shaky cam. It's also shot for shot action scenes. You know, it's like very cut shotish, And it's just terrible in this movie. Also, the other actors felt so freaking wasted. And Mark Wahlberg's character is also wasted. We don't even know much about his character, except we only know his character from the opening credit scene of this movie. And then that's it, he doesn't have a backstory or anything. Well, he does, but we don't explain it. It's just the opening credit scene that explains that. And then Mark Wahlberg just turns into a very forgettable character. Even like Ronda Rousey, like, she's wasted in this movie. I liked her better if she's a martial artist person. I liked her in UFC. This movie, no way. I really think she's just wasted in this movie. Even Laura Cohen from The Walking Dead. Like, she's also wasted. She's a good actress, but I hated her 
in this movie. She's just so wasted in this movie. Most of the actors are wasted. Even John Makovich, a great actor, he's also wasted. Also, the story of this movie is bloody confusing. This movie's trying to be like two movies in one go, but it just fails on its own hands. This is trying to be like the Bourne movies, you know, the shaky cam action scenes, but they are clear to see. This movie failed in its own hands. It's trying to make a story that's just very, like, hard to understand, but you gotta focus a lot in a good way, like the Mission Impossible movies, but of course it fails in its own hands in this movie. This movie, just the story is just all over the place. It's confusing. I just wish, like, I was watching it on TV so I can rewind it and then I get the scene, but it's just really hard to tell because most of the dialogue in this movie and the story base is so confusing. And what disappoints me is that the plot is so interesting, but the way they handle it in this film, it felt so forgettable. Literally, this film is one of the most forgettable movies of the year. I would never, ever buy this movie. I can just, like, forget about this film and just watch the first three Mark Warburg and Peter Berg collaboration. Like, Peter Berg, you could do better, man. I going back to the Hancock and the Battleship side, you know what I mean? Like, make more true story films. I think that is more right for you. He kind of has like a split side, you know what I mean? Like he has a true story side, which is a good side, and a non-fictional true story side that turns bad. Literally, this movie, guys, overall, do not go see Mile 22. It is a waste of time. The action scenes just don't watch this movie. The action scenes are horrible. The story is very confusing. The characters are feel very wasted. Even though Mark Warbeck is good in this movie, his character is very wasted. This movie overall is wasted. This is probably one of the worst action movies of this entire year. And it's really disappointing because this is a movie by Peter Berg who made these three great true story movies. And now he failed in his own hands. So far this is my least favorite out of the four movies that he done with Mark Warbeck. Definitely my least. My number one least favorite. Because this movie guys is so freaking wasted. Do not see this movie guys because I'm going to give Mile 22 a D minus. So guys, let me know down below if you have seen Mile 22. Do you like the movie or hate the movie? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on Stardust and Facebook. Keep in contact with me and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And have a nice day.